Welcome to MD Bytes. In this video tutorial, you are going to watch how to create multiple drop down lists in Google Sheets. Lists are commonly used to data validation, but in here, we are going to prepare multiple drop downs and then dependent list for the category of data selected in here. So, for that, we are going to use the data in the next sheet, which is named as lists. So, these are the data where we are going to use for our data validation. So, here you can find the category of food, so bakery, diary, drinks, and these are the items related to the category of those food items. Now we need to retrieve all these data into the first sheet in the form of multiple drop downs and list in here in column B from sales B4 to B11. And for items, we need to bring all the food items related to the category based on the selection. Example, if we select diary, the values milk, cheese, eggs, cottage cheese should be brought into the cells of column C. And then here we need to set up the data validation for column B. So I just make a right click and I can go for data validation. Else I can also choose the other way by selecting the data tab in the menu and select the option data validation. So now I just click here which brings this window where we need to set up the data validation parameters for our multiple drop down list. So here I'm going to select the criteria list from a range because we got the range of values and here we need to select the cells where we got the values for the multiple drop downs so this is in the next sheet which is in list where we have the values in column b from cells b4 to b11 so these are the values of categories and now we have selected i just click ok so now we have set up the criteria and values and for invalid data i just go with option reject input and now we move on to the save button and click on it to apply the data validation which will affect in column B of dependence list sheet. So here you can see the drop down list have been appeared. All the categories have been added in here. Now we need to set up the same data validation for the other cells in column B. For that I need to make a right click on this cell where we have the data validation already and select the option copy and now we need to select the other cells where we need the data validation and make a right click there and go for the option paste special so here we need to select the option paste data validation only so once i click on here you can see the data validations are applied on those cells where we need the multiple drop down list so here we have the multiple drop down list for all the categories of food we have now what we need to do is we need to set up the dependent list where we need to bring all the food items based on the selection we make in the categories in column B. So then the list of multiple drop downs will be appearing here with the items based on the selection of category. So here we have the data. So these are the data should be added in the list of items based on the categories. To retrieve all these data, first we need to create a reference in here in this sheet by using index and match functions for the selection. So I just press equals and I start with index function where I need to set up two set of parameters in here the array and the row number. So for array I'm going to select all the food items in here starting from C4 to G11. So this must be absolutely referred by the formula. So I just select function key F4 and make these cells to be absolutely referred. So now I'm going to set up the row number using match function for that I just type match and open the bracket where we need to set up the parameters for match function. So here for the first parameter in match function it must be at the lookup value which must be taken from the dependence list sheet. So here the categories selected will be the values as lookup value for the match function in the next sheet. So I have selected cell B4 which is bakery and you can see the cell have been selected as the lookup value. So this value will be searched for a match in the cells from B4 to B11. So then this match function will return a position value which will be the row number for the index function to get the list of items based on the selection. So now I'm going to set up all these cell values to be absolutely referred because we are going to apply the same formula for the other cells as well. So now I close the match function by giving a parenthesis and also another parenthesis to close the index function. So now we have set up the formula to retrieve the data of food items based on the selection which we have made in the previous sheet, the dependence list sheet, which is B4. 
so now I just enter you can see the item which is bread has been listed based on the selection so now if I drag the same formula to the other cells based on the selection made in the previous sheet the items will be listed in here since I have selected all the categories in the multiple drop downs of the other sheet the data has been listed in here like this so now we need to retrieve these cell values to the dependent list sheet in column C in here in the form of multiple drop downs. So for that I select the first cell in the items and make a right click and move on to the data validation option. So I just click on data validation in here which brings this window to set up the parameters for data validation. So here again select the list from range as the criteria and now we need to provide the range of cell locations where we have the food items based on the category selected in the cells of column B means the values related to here should be listed in this item for that I go to the list sheet where we have created the references in here and select only the first row values for the first data validation which we select only the cells from I4 to M4 and click OK so then we finalize the data validation in here so here on win valid data I just select reject input and click save so now we have applied the first data validation for the first category of food items now I just click on the dependent list sheet to have a look on the data validation we have applied yes the data validation has been applied properly in here so based on the category the food items displays now we need to set up the data validation for the other cells in the column C so that the items shall be selected. So for that I make a right click and select the data validation but here the cell range has been set up with absolute referred values which is not applicable for this condition because we have set up a range like this in here where we are going to make a copy reference which means we are going to drag the same formula for the other cells in here which won't work if the cells are being referred absolutely so for that I just move on to data validation again and in here I'm going to delete these dollar symbols and I'm going to make it just I4 to M4 so that the cells have been not referred absolutely and I click save so this time it is not applied with absolute reference so here it is just only the cell values I4 and M4 now I can drag down so that it will be relatively referred which means it will move on to I5 M5 so then the cell values which I have referred in the other sheet will be brought into here so now the diary is the category if I click on the cells you can see the data items have been appropriately selected so these selections are made based on the reference we have created in this sheet so based on the row values in here the values will be retrieved into this dependent list and brought in here for example if I just click on snack you can see it has been updated with the values now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order of the categories in here and I'm going to bring the different dependent lists so I just change instead of drinks in here I just make it in diary and I'm going to change the values of the dependent list and for bakery I'm going to change it as soup so that the dependent list will be brought in so now we can also have a look on the other sheet what is the update happening here you can see the order of items have been changed based on the selection we make in the category so this is because of the reference we have made in the index and match functions there so this is how we apply multiple dependent drop down list in google sheets